Hello everyone, Marco Paul and I'm one I know here. And today I am going to be showing you a Minecraft invention that could revolutionize crafting benches. Now what I have here is a recipe calling Minecraft crafting bench. So what that means is right here I have a list of different recipes I could do. I can have pickaxes, redstone, interactive blocks like chests or furnaces, food or wood, like beds or crafting tables. Now what I have here is basically I'll pick the pickaxes, so I want to build a pickaxe. Click that button, wait a couple seconds, and there we go. So now all I have to do is click down there. Now I have already set up a free recipes for three different types of um, pickaxes. So all I have to do is one, two, three, or you could just go one, two, three, one, and then one, two, just like that. So now I have it right there. Click to the top part, put my three ingots and two sticks there, and there you go. And then when you're done crafting what you want, click this button, and it'll go away. And then when this light is off, you can pick whatever else you want. So say now I want to say interactive blocks. I want to build a furnace. Wait a couple seconds. There we go. Click down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Now click here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've built myself a furnace. Simple as that. And maybe I want to build something else. So I just take that and I can make a chest. Now this is really nice because it gives you all the items you need and also it can give you the what type of shape you need to build it with just like here to make an enchanting table which can be quite hard to make if you don't make them before so with each of these choices you have three different recipes in each one so right here I have 15 different recipes I can do and now that I've built my furnace, I'll just click the button to cool the chest away. And there you have it. So now let me show you the outside of this, which is a little bit bigger, but very simple. <laughs> now you're probably wondering what this is. Now, first we here, we have uh, a gate. I can't remember the name of it, I'm sorry. But all I do is that when I click this button right here uh, at the moment all I do when I click that button instead of turning this on well it will turn this on instead of it off and when I click the button all the other ones will stay off and it basically means that if I click that one there after clicking this one this one will turn off and that one will turn on it's very nice very compact and what this means is I can put them all together and I can make even more right next to it if I want to put more recipes in. So after that I just have five separate channels going to some redstone torches on some tracks. Now these five redstone torches right here all they do is power these five tracks so you can see here this is the wood, this is the food this is the interactive blocks, this is the redstone, and that is the pickaxes. So when I click the first button for pickaxes, this powered rail will go on. Going along here, hitting this detector rail, but before it comes down, that track, this um, minecart will go down here, drop onto that, and then right here, this will turn this repeater on and it will in turn turn this rail on pushing the block, the minecart, up into the crafting bench. Now for the way back let's give you an example of it coming just straight here so we'll click this button here which is food or wood and you can see it's coming here and it drops on there and then straight away it got pushed up into the crafting bench 
So now that's the first part. I'll quickly destroy this part just here so I can click the button easily and show you what happens. Now since I oh <coughs> now, sorry, since I click this button right here, you will see that this is the only torch on out of the five, and this is the only torch off right here, which means that every other since these t um, tracks right here are all curved inward, when the minecart comes up this track, they will all go this way to the last track, right here. And then I'll give you a show, just to show you how it works. So we'll click the button, the minecart will go up, 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 and it will go across them all, and back down there. Now you'll see there's some detector rails here. What these detector rails do is when they when the cart is running over them, they'll send a pulse of redstone along here, straight down to reset these five modules. That means that if, for example, let me give you an example from a middle track, now you'll see that that track got powered on and it's going to stay on until this detector rail, one of this one, this one right here, will turn on resetting that and that will go off again. Also, as you'll see, now that one's just going to be staying like that since there's no tracks going on. But for this one here, instead of curving this way, like this track, it's curving this way. So what will happen when I press the reset button to send the cart back? Well, it will go across there, across there, and back up into there. And then when it hits that, it'll reset and this track will go back that way again like I'll show you in a second. There we go. So the cart is called back up, goes there, detector rail turns it on, and that rail goes back that way. So I will have a world download in the description below, and I hope you enjoy. Now, last thing before I go is just to tell you that this can be easily doubled into a into more than one if you want. So if you say you want a couple more recipes, let me get the certain stuff I need. Actually, one, two, three. That's basically it. So what I will do, oh, and a button. So I'll have my button here, a sign, then my torch, and what I do is here's my redstone one repeater just here a block now I want one piece of redstone a repeater a block a torch and another torch a block we're gonna have a repeater here and we're gonna have a repeater this way with a burst of four ticks. Then, right here, we don't need that block there, we'll have a block here, and also there. And this will be connected like so. And that's the first part of it. Now, we'll get our torch, and what we want to do is we want to just reset everything just so that goes off. Shouldn't actually because let's just there we go. We'll get a track coming this way, and we'll send it back. And then when it goes over the detector rail, this torch will go off. There we go. Okay, so now what we do is we shall put some redstone along here like this. And don't worry about it touching the sides, because we can fix that quite easily. So we'll have torch, and here's our redstone, repeater, and then right here, fixed, just like that. Very simple. Now for the next part, what we're going to need is some tracks, just like that. Now we have there, we put 
these right here and those two so now that's basically it we're gonna need a lever as well and we'll put this lever right here to power this tra rail which is what we need then we're going to put a repeater right there no bursts on it just the single and we'll have our little upwards redstone track going along like so now we'll put our last track right along here get this redstone to go across and we basically have it when we chuck that there we have that that and we want to do that like that so we put uh, going straight just like so and now we have an extra track so what we can do is we can get a minecart in a chest pop it right there and there you go that's an extra one done so shall we test it out we will click this button right here chest will go out it'll come down there go straight into there and get pushed into the crafting bench now there's nothing in it but that's that then when we click the button it'll be popped up go up here go across and back into its section so that can be done as many times as you want you just put a couple of repeaters here to keep the redstone going and also you want to repeat it in here if it gets long enough and that is basically this I hope you enjoy it it's a very simple device but very effective and it should be quite useful for some big YouTube well not big YouTubers big Minecraft people who have a big world who are very successful in it and have lots of resources and redstone because although this doesn't take up that much redstone it takes a lot of metal with the tracks and with the carts as well so I hope you enjoy and as always have a nice day Marco Polo oh I don't have my skin today because it's offline because my internet's failing over and out Thank mm -hmm. you.